in Hollywood right now. Yeah. I think you commented, yeah, it, like even the, you know, DEI stuff that they're doing and forcing some things. If you want to win an Oscar or be nominated, you have to be able to qualify for these, all these things or else the movie cannot be going. Oh, you're How talking about diversity. Is, yeah, the, the, all that stuff. And you're a black man. I'm Middle Eastern. How do you feel about saying, well, in order for a movie to be nominated for X, Y, Z, a third has to be this and a third has to be that and a third has to be this and da, 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 yeah. da. How do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, I think that's crazy. I think the idea that is crazy to implement in Hollywood because, uh, you know, it's it's almost like it's almost like you say, all right, QB, I'm going to have you work in my house. You're going to be the gardener. I'm a pool man. And me and the pool man say, you know what? We need more money. And you go, you're right. I want you, you know, from now on, here's a set of rules, but yet, Oh, but I don't need you to work today. Matter of fact, I got another gardener that's coming in. There's, in other words, all I'm saying is you can set rules for diversity. I'm not sure that I understand what Cuba Gooding is saying. And I think that right now I would call this his apology tour of some sort for something, um, because it's a very simple analogy that he can simply make. Okay. Uh, and not that it's just, that's crazy. No, it, it, why it's not good for Hollywood. I'm going to, I'm going to make it very easy. Uh, that puts a hand that put handcuffs on my art, when I'm creating art, if you're telling me that I have to have this many black people, this many white people, this many, they never say white people, this many black people, this many gay people, this many, you know, um, Spanish people, and then the black person has to be the hero, and then da 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 da. No, I wrote a movie, I wrote a story, and I want to tell it the way I want to tell it. That's all he has to say. He was going through something, I didn't even know how he made it to the show, what's going on with his goatee. There's like a rubber band or something on the bottom. So he's tiptoeing around the obvious. Let's see if he can finally get it. But until we, as uh, people, minorities, get the opportunities afforded us based on our talents and exposed, and I'll, and I'll bring it back to hockey, okay? People come up to me all the time, say, man, you play hockey. Black people don't know hockey. And I say to them, we invented hockey. People don't know this, but the runaway slave. He's literally kanging right now. I've never heard this before. He's kanging. This is kanging, okay? Like, this is, we was kangs. Like, no, no, no. I can't believe I've ran into this. And in the last minute, just ran into this nonsense. Like, what is Cuba Gooding Jr. doing? Like, are you kidding me right now? Literally kanging. I've not heard, and I'm not going to go look for the um, article about slaves were playing hockey. What's going on? You see what I'm saying? No. DEI is not good in Hollywood. You need to have talent. If you don't have talent, then you can't be in there. But if you have a problem with DEI in Hollywood and, and not getting enough um, respect as a black person, why don't you look at who runs Hollywood and then you talk to them, okay? That's how you do it. You don't make everybody else feel bad and have to watch boring movies now because everybody has to be a hero. All the non-whites have to be a hero. Non-white heterosexual Christian males, right? Like we got, yo man, this is the channel for reality. Bring the asteroid. That's what we do. We bring the asteroid of reality. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please. Um, and the notification bell, because I can't wait to start streaming on this channel. Once I get a thousand followers, guys, thank you so much. Coming back to it. Cuba's lost his absolute mind. He's about to Kang hard. Let's see how he goes. Let's see how this goes. Help us all. He just went up through Nova Scotia to up uh, England in America into Nova Scotia. There's a book called Black Ice and the black hockey, the black slaves got with the Indians and they created black hockey leagues of the Maritimes, 1895 to like 1900. And these rules that they did, and even the goalie, they had a black goalie that stack his pads. That's how they adopted the rules of the NHL today. Right. So here you're looking at the NHL is an all. Okay. So it's a real story. <laughs> so they did the work for me. So I guess this is like a real story. Like who came out? When did this book come out? Y'all like, when did this book come out? I hate that I'm doing this, right? Like I'm, I'm I really do hate that I, I'm doing this, you know, to debunk history, but I'm telling you, I don't trust anything anymore. I don't, but okay. On white sport, but we, or at the genesis of it way back in the day. You know, you think of uh, hip hop. It's like how many years from now, 40 years now, you say, I mean, what are you doing as a black guy? You, you, you're not in hip hop, that's the white man's music. Do you know what I mean? It's like- Yeah, well, who runs it to make it do that? Okay, so coming back to it. Now, like it's still, okay, fine, fine. I will eat crow, okay? I will put both feet in my mouth. 
<laughs> but he's doing the thing that I, I say it. I'm like, stop trying to make hockey DEI. Black people don't want to play hockey. Even if that's the original story of hockey, black people still, they never wanted to play. Like, I've never heard this thing where black people were saying they couldn't play hockey because they were black, bro. We've not heard it. Okay, okay, great. Blacks came together and, you know, with other people in Nova Scotia, they were able to put together hockey. That's good. I learned something new today. But when it's told in the story of Kanging, of like, well, we need DEI so that there could be black hockey players. Or how about black people don't care about playing hockey? In Philadelphia, the only reason why they were hype about the hockey team, which I forgot the dang one name in the hockey team in Philadelphia, was because they were in the NHL. So then everybody was involved. And that was good. Then we come together for the team. You know what I'm saying? Everybody came together, was going to the bars and everything. They almost won. That was great. But before then, nobody was watching the hockey team in Philly. They weren't. Not, not the black people. They weren't. And nobody kept us out of that. We just didn't care. We had basketball and, and uh, football. Black folk don't like baseball, too. Maybe they did invent that. They don't like that, too. It just is what it is. I'm sorry. I can't believe that I'm doing this. So I, I think of the DEI and all of that as, you know, any, any positive step you can get, but we need the tools. We need we need the inner city kids to have the same. You know, it's funny because you talk about when they say nepotism and my son, mm -hmm. Mason Gooding, he has an opportunity. And let's be honest, because he has the exposure of who I am. So how, how you get around that, I think you, you just have to, you know. I mean, I, I guess I, I guess I really have to get this at the end of the day and say I don't have the answers. Did you but... feel like you being black hurt you in making it in Hollywood? Like, did you feel you had a disadvantage? I always looked at every. I always look, and, and I do this to this day. I look at the positive side of things. I knew that when Coralie sent me to those auditions and I was surrounded by those white guys, that I had something they didn't have, and I put myself. She put my me in that position to be seen where she wasn't looking for me. And I've always been that way in my life. When I, the ice hockey, the, the, the rodeo, uh, uh, horseback ride, uh, um, uh, motorcycle ride, anything where I know that there's, I'm not going to blend in and I stand out good or bad. I know that there's opportunity there. So he's smart. Let me tell you what Cuba just said. He's right. He uses his race to get his <laughs> position. Sorry. Yeah. Cause it is kind of like, you know, now, cause now, because it is a policy, there's nothing organic about it. What he just said, he should have been sharing it with his friends. He didn't. He's very smart. We're going we're gonna to go back in time before we had the policies that were written. Cuba said that I do different things. I do what the regular black does not do. That's what he's saying. That is, in fact, what he's saying. And so because I do what the different, what the other blacks won't do, I get noticed in a sea full of non-blacks well that's what i'm gonna say because i i don't call everybody white just be clear like i don't know who was really there right because sometimes people call spanish people white they call jewish people white so i don't know right but anyway but he was probably the only black there and so he gets noticed and then it's like well let's see what this person's got he uses his race as a tool that's a that's what he just explained but he's not going to say it like that he said i look at things as the positive. No, because back then you weren't looking at your race as hindering you from doing the rodeo and hockey. You complain that there's not enough people in hockey, but it's not because that there's some sort of rule that's written that black people can't do hockey. It is a, a thing that black kids don't really care about. They weren't, they just didn't care. It's just that simple. They didn't have the hockey leagues in certain areas. Okay. Maybe put some, maybe see if they care. All right, talk about it like that. But to go all the way to the NHL and say, we need to get more black players. And then when you do get a black player, you freaking kill somebody with it. Anyway, that's just another story. Um, you know, so to, to go all the way up there and say that when you haven't even primed the kids to even want to play hockey, is just another way of complaining. And let me tell you something, black folk really would do good to stop doing this. They need to stop being the face of DEI because DEI was not created for them. I want to be very clear. And I'm not, that is a, a discussion for a live stream one day, but DEI was not created for black folk. All right. But they have adopted it. And they're making it their thing. And you look weak and dumb and confused with a rubber band on your goatee. Thank you guys for watching.